Hi and welcome to the chatbot presentation. Here we are going to demonstrate an application that we have built using IBM Watson. IBM Watson provides services that are consumed by external applications in order to facilitate creation of a chatbot machine. The demonstration of this application here uses the following integrated infrastructural elements. Number one, IBM Watson. This provides services encompassing natural language processing and artificial intelligence. These services can be accessed using IBM's portal, Lumix.net. Number two, Facebook Messenger Bot. This provides a front end for Facebook's Messenger and provides the necessary API endpoints to connect various services for implementing a chatbot system. Number three, Node.js servers hosted on AWS. This acts as an intermediate between the chatbot system and IBM Watson. Before we dive into the actual demonstration, let me introduce several services and concepts implemented by IBM Watson. These services are used in the product that TechGenie has created. Conversation Services IBM Watson's conversation service allows creating an application that understands NLP and uses machine learning to respond to customers in a way that simulates a conversation between humans. There are three key parts that are used in this service. Intents. These define the purpose or a goal expressed in an user's input, such as answering a question or processing a bill payment. Entities. These represent classes of objects or data types that are relevant to a user's purpose. By recognizing the entities that are mentioned in the user's input, the conversation service can choose the specific actions to take to fulfill an intent. Dialogues use the intents and entities that are identified in the user's input plus context from the application to interact with the user and ultimately provide a useful response. Number two, document conversion. Document conversion converts various types of documents into formats that can be understood by Watson's services. Number three is discovery services. These provide the underlying mechanism for extracting values from unstructured data. It does so by converting them, normalizing and enriching it. It also provides a simplified query language to explore the data. All of the services above are exposed as web APIs by Watson, which can be consumed by external applications to provide the necessary interface and the required functionality. Having said that, the context of the demo is the application that TechGenie has built for residents of apartments. Every apartment has a set of rules, regulations and other laws that the residents may need to query every now and then. Generally, in apartments, a supervisor is appointed to aid the residents with their queries. In order to make this information available to all the residents, this system consumes data pertaining to the rules and regulations provided in documents and presents it online using the chatbot feature on Facebook. This allows all users to experience a human-like conversation, decrease wait times for human interactions, and provide appropriate answers simultaneously to several residents. On the Facebook page, a first-time user searches for MyCoop chatbot and clicks on it to begin the conversation. The system recognizes the first-time user and prompts the user with a Get Started button. On clicking the button, the system provides a few queries to get to know the user. The first option is selecting a language. We are going to select English here. The system responds with its introduction and further asks the user to share their location. This location is captured by the system to correlate data to an apartment so that the correct responses can be provided. Users can share the location using the map feature. In the current application, since our location information is not captured, we will be typing in an address. After the user provides an address by typing it in the chat window, the system prompts the user with a map displaying the given address. The user would need to confirm this address. If the user selects no, then the system asks for the address again. This process continues till the user is able to provide a, provide a proper address. At this point of time, 
the system prompts the user to provide a query related to the apartment. We have a few questions that we have set up based on the documents that we have provided as an input to the system. The first question is going to be The system provides the correct response as mentioned in the apartment's documentation. We can provide another question. The system provides the correct answer. In case the answer is long, the chatbot displays a read more button which the user can click to continue reading the answer. Since the system depends on user feedback to improve its responses and train itself, two other buttons are also displayed, useful and not useful. Based on the feedback provided by the users, the system updates its knowledge and provides more and more appropriate responses in the future. As demonstrated here, IBM Watson provides AI and NLP services to process information from document files and provide augmentation to chatbot services backed by the dataset. Thank you for viewing.